stop giving meaning to physical sensation. Stop giving it so much truth to your existence because the less truth you give to physical sensation and what it means about reality, the more free you will be as a man. You are nervous to speak to any woman, not because you're not enough, it's because you like her. You're walking down the street, or you're sitting somewhere, and you notice a woman. The first thing that may happen inside of you is your heart racing. Maybe you feel like your mind starts to race. Maybe your stomach starts to tighten. Whatever it is that may happen inside of you, you look at that woman and then something else starts to come in. Which are the thoughts? It's not just this experience of there's a woman right there and I'm interested in her. I would like to go speak to her. It's that plus the things that come with that. In these moments, guys find it very hard to continue. And the reason being is because he associates that this situation is dangerous. This situation means something about me because I'm not feeling comfortable. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to get into how the feelings inside of yourself the physical sensations, the sensations that are rolling through you when you see the woman, how they can trick you into believing something that's not true, and how if you become okay with the fact that you like someone, this is gonna help you. Let me start with this. I used to hate feeling nervous. I used to hate it. I associated that when I feel nervous, this means that I can't handle the situation. Let's think about in relation to women. I will see a woman that's really attractive to me, like really attractive, in some situation. And what would come over me is my heart racing. This is a strong thing for me. It wasn't necessarily me and my stomach tightening up. It was my heart racing the most. And it would race, <clears throat> and it would race, and as it would race, I would want it, it to just calm down. It used to frustrate me. I used to feel inside, why is my heart racing so much? It's just a woman. I can't be afraid of her, it's just a woman. And it kept on and it kept on and it kept on racing. And I just couldn't figure out why. I couldn't figure out. And then going along, something started to come to my realization. And that is, I'm feeling nervous, not because this woman, I'm scared of her. I'm not afraid of her. There's nothing about her that I'm afraid of. 
I just like her. And I don't know if she's going to like me back. That's it. Why do you think in the beginning I said, it's not because you're not enough. Why do you think I said that? Because I was walking around with, I am nervous in this moment because I'm not enough. I am nervous in this moment because if I was just more confident, then I would be able to handle the situation. I associated so many meanings, so many. You like her. I like those women. That's why I was feeling that. It wasn't because of what I thought. My nervousness, my uncomfortableness was tricking me. It was getting me to believe that because I'm feeling this, there is actual danger present. And you don't know this, but you give so much meaning like I did to your physical sensations that they start to try to tell you what's real about reality. They start to tell you, they, you, they start, you start to believe that they're telling you something real about what's happening right now. I trusted my mind. I trusted that it was going to lead me into a situation. But in many cases, my mind was against me. My mind was telling me things like, you shouldn't do this. This is the wrong time. You should wait a little bit. She's in a rush. It, t it gave me every excuse, but it never aided me because my heart was racing. There was physical discomfort. So my mind started going, there is danger in the situation. And I backed off. And that's what you may feel. Just because you're believing so much what the physical sensations in your body, in your mind, coming together are telling you that it's stopping you from doing things. This led me into starting to see it in actuality. And this may be something that people actually don't want to do, or you may not want to do, is to see it in actuality. That means discard, ignore, move away from your mind. Because if you believe your mind, if you believe what your mind and the physical sensations are coming together and telling you, you will never go talk to her. You will never do it. Simply because it's telling you that this is dangerous. This is not okay. So you don't feel okay about it. Nervousness to me started to become something very different. And what led me into this different discovery was meditation. You guys hear me talk so much about it. And it's as if I'm a, an advocate for meditation itself only in this lifetime. That's what it feels like in a way. But it's not that. It's just simply because I started to see. I started to notice. I started to notice that right now I'm feeling all this uncomfortableness in my body. But what does it actually mean? This is why I say, see it in actuality. What does it actually mean? Does it really mean that I'm not enough? Does it really mean that I'm scared? Does it really mean that this woman is too much for me? I gave myself a chance. Meditation gave me a chance to see. And this is the simple truth that it came to for me. If I allow physical sensations to rule me, I won't be able to operate in life because life 
is uncomfortable and it's comfortable. If I only do things at the time that it's comfortable, then I miss out on the pleasures of the uncomfortableness because everything I actually want is through the uncomfortableness. That's what it gave me. And in relation to women, it gave me something super profound that I want to share with you. It is more important to show your interest to a woman than to try to figure out, are you okay or not? Is she too much? Are you enough? It's more important for you to show your interest than to try to feel comfortable before you go up. Yeah, you may be nervous when you go up. Yes, you may be, all these things may be happening inside of you, but it's only because you like her. And it's more important to go show her that you like her than it is to try to make yourself feel okay first. To try to make yourself try to figure out, am I enough or not? You simply become okay with the fact that you like her. The more you become okay with the fact that you do like her, the more you're going to have a chance with her. My nervousness started to subside. It did. It started to subside the more I wanted to go, you know what? I just want to show this woman that I'm interested in her. That's it. Period. Point blank. I don't want to try to figure out right now, am I enough? Is she in a rush or anything like that? I'm only interested in showing this woman that I like her. Because if I can show her that, that is enough. I've done enough. I've done all I can do. I'll let her try to figure out anything. But right now, I'm trying to figure out something that's going to just stress me out. It's going to make me feel more nervous. And eventually, I'm not going to do it. And I bring you into a wonderful story that I had with this Asian girl some years back. And this kind of solidified this for me. In the moment, I was going through what it meant to show my intention, what it meant to just show a woman that I like her, just show her. Because I was operating so much from, I want to wait to the perfect time. I want to wait to the time where I don't feel uncomfortable. I want to wait to the time where we have this great moment and I can just tell her and she can be bowled over by it. I got off work and as I'm riding my bike, downtown Madison, Wisconsin, I see a woman. And it's this Asian woman walking past and she has this fur coat on. And this is very strange actually in Madison for a girl to have this, but she has this fur coat on, it's black, and she has this, this, this short hair that I just really enjoy. Her look was just, I like, okay, I wanna go speak to this woman, I do. I hopped off my bike and I ran over to her. And I'm just speaking to her. She starts to go into, you know what? Since um, I'm busy and I have stuff going in my life, I have a friend that you can meet. And she starts going through her pictures and trying to show me her friend. And in the midst of this, all I feel in that moment is I don't want your friend, I want you. And she's flipping and all I'm feeling is that I want you, I don't want your friend. <laughs> Forgive the sounds of the uh, Budapest trams, but I just stopped her in the middle of it. And I said, okay, stop. I don't want to meet your friend because I want you. How can we make this happen? And I just laid it all out there. I got so tired of doing that, I just laid it all out there. Even when I was uncomfortable when I did it, I just laid it out there. And she just stops looking through her phone, and she looks at me and she goes, 
Friday night, I'm free. And we went out Friday night and we spent the night together. And yes, we did have sex, but that wouldn't have been possible if I didn't just show her in that moment. I am not telling you to go out there and just start telling women, I just want you. I just want to go on a date with you. I'm not telling you to do that. But what I am telling you is that <clears throat> if it takes that much to do it, then you do it. If it takes you just laying it all out there to just see what it's like, just get yourself out of here and in this moment with what you really want to tell her, then do it. Becoming okay with this nervousness, becoming okay with showing a woman you like her is just a courage to show her in any moment you, a courage to show her in any moment your interest because that's what's most important to her. Not anything else, but your simple interest. This gave me all the leverage I needed in that moment. It simply did. You can go. Yeah. Becoming okay with showing a woman you like her is the way through your nervousness. And the way through your nervousness as well is becoming okay with physical sensation. Becoming okay with the fact that you will feel uncomfortable when you're first coming out. You are. When you're first coming out and showing women that you like them, you will feel uncomfortable. The simple reason is that you like her and you don't know that if she's gonna like you back. You like her. That's why you really feel uncomfortable. You do. You feel so uncomfortable because you wanna tell her something. You do. And I beg you, I tell you to say it to that woman. Don't wait any longer. You need to tell women what you feel. Say it. Lay it all out there. Sometimes it's just laying it all out there. It is. And this will give you great insight into yourself. If there's anything that I want you to take from this video, simply, 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 simply. Stop giving meaning to physical sensation. Stop giving it so much truth to your existence because the less truth you give to physical sensation and what it means about reality, the more free you will be as a man. This is the way to your own freedom in this. You can have the situation that you want with women, but it's how much are you giving to your physical sensations, the things that are happening inside of you. How much meaning are you giving it to the reality that's here? It's actually not dangerous, but your mind will tell you with that physical sensation that this is dangerous, back off. And as you loosen and loosen and loosen that thread, your vision becomes clear. Yes, you feel things, but then you know what's truth. Because the truth only lies here in this moment. Thank you for tuning in to this lovely, lovely video here in Budapest. I just wanted to give you guys something very cherishing and something that's going to help you become okay with nervousness. What I would like for you to do is to go down in the description box below and click on the free seduction course. That's everything from meat to bedroom. It teaches you, okay, what do you do upon our approach and what do you do to get her home? All the way through, it teaches you. It's a very quick and effective program, totally free. 
just click on it and it'll take you there. In the meantime, I want you to subscribe, which is the little red button. Just subscribe because you're going to be able to follow me once you do. Share this with anybody who you feel will benefit from this. Because the nervousness is something that guys struggle with totally. And if you are struggling with that and your friend is struggling with that, let your friend know. And he'll let another friend know. Who you are is valuable for that what you want. In life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I see you tomorrow.